Number 10. The Champion Surfer In 2019, Champion Surfer Lucimara Souza was training in the ocean off the coast of Brazil when she was struck by lightning. The 23-year-old woman was pulled unconscious from the water. Souza had been practicing her moves on the Leste Oeste beach during a rainstorm, not anticipating a bolt of such intense electricity to be drawn to her as if she was a lightning rod. She was rushed to the hospital, but sadly died from her injuries shortly after. According to what the professional surfer's mother told local news, she'd been surfing in the waves on the beach just before it started to rain. There were several other people in the water as well when the rain came and a total of six were affected by the bolt of lightning. Even the man who dragged Sousa from the water was sent to the hospital due to injuries he sustained. It hit Sousa and then rippled through the water, zapping everyone near her. Sadly, Sousa's career ended with that unexpected lightning bolt. She had began her surfing career at just 10 years old, going on to win Sarah Championship in 2018. At the time of her death, she was training for the 2019 Brazilian Surf Championship. Number nine walking the dogs. A man was walking his dog in Texas back in 2019 when he was struck by lightning. His name is Alex Correas, a resident of Harris County. Alex was walking his dogs when a thunderstorm moved into the area. This isn't that big of a deal, and he never thought in a million years he would be hit by a lightning bolt. According to the National Weather Service, the odds of being struck by lightning are minuscule. You have a 1 in 15,300 chance of being directly hit by lightning in Texas. Still, the 27-year-old mechanic knew he should get out of the storm. He started walking faster, and that's when his memory went blank. According to what he told local news, Alex has no recollection of being hit. He remembers walking, then everything went dark. Luckily for us, Alex was captured on video at the moment of the strike. In the footage, you can clearly see a tiny bolt of electricity zigzag out of the air and hit the concrete just behind him. Alex fell forward, unconscious, as if he'd just been whacked over the head. It goes to show how powerful a lightning bolt can be. Alex wasn't even hit directly, and the shock was still enough to knock him out. He suffered a swollen eye from where he hit the concrete and had to remain recovering in the hospital for four days. Even though the lightning hadn't hit him, the electricity had traveled up his leg giving him a pretty good jolt. It's just lucky the person filming was able to quickly call 911 and get him to the hospital. Number eight, the whole football team. In 1998, lightning killed an entire football team in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. It was one of the most bizarre and tragic mass lightning fatalities in history. All 11 members of the football team died at a weekend match with 30 other people receiving burns from the sudden lightning storm. The exact details about what happened remain obscure even still to this day. All anyone really knows is that lightning came out of nowhere and struck the field they were playing on, and the entire team fell dead. What's truly bizarre is that their opponents were left untouched. Imagine watching a football game only to see lightning specifically hit all the members of one team. In typical Congolese style, witchcraft was to blame for the natural event. What else would you call it? The match was being played in the eastern province of Kasai. The athletes playing for the home team of Basanga walked off the field completely unscathed. Fans of the opposing team then began accusing them of using dark magic to summon the lightning storm because they were losing the game. This obviously wasn't the case. There's no way someone could have summoned a lightning storm using magic, right? Nonetheless, blaming people for using dark magic is pretty common throughout Western and Central Africa. According to The Independent, some football fans even get witch doctors to place hexes on the opposing team members before a game starts. But in this case, it really was just a freak lightning storm. Number seven, a Florida miracle. It was a Sunday afternoon in June, 2021, when Mark Johnson and his son saw the thunderstorm moving towards them. They were on Jupiter Island in Florida in the middle of a weekend fishing trip. They spotted the bad weather coming in and decided to hightail it out of there. As they walked back to the parking lot, they stuck close to the water to avoid the extremely hot sand on their bare feet. There were other people still sunbathing on the sand. Not everyone seemed bothered that a raging storm was approaching. Somewhat ironically, it was the two people who were actually fleeing the storm that ended up being victims of it. As they walked up the beach, lightning struck. Both of them blacked out and woke up an undetermined amount of time later with their faces in the sand. The lifeguard on the beach had seen what happened and rushed to perform CPR and other first aid. He ended up breaking two of the father's ribs just trying to keep him alive. He had no pulse 
and things weren't looking good. In the end, an ambulance came and both men were taken away on stretchers. As it turned out, a lightning bolt had hit either the father or the son and then jumped into the other, knocking them both unconscious. They both made full recoveries, but it was extremely close for Mark Johnson. He literally had to be brought back to life. Do you know anyone that's been struck by lightning? Let us know your stories in the comments and don't forget to subscribe before the end of the video. Number six, the worst golf trip. In 2021, at the Pine Hills Golf Course near Scranton in Pennsylvania, a 71-year-old man was killed by lightning. It was 1.30 p.m. on a Friday, and Joseph Slavinsky was trying to seek shelter. He saw the storm coming and hurried to get off the green, but he didn't make it. The bolt of lightning came down like a heat-seeking missile and killed him. It was just awful, but at least he died doing what he loved. I'm sure Joseph would have rather kept on living, but if he had to go unexpectedly, it was probably better on a golf course than in the back of a taxi or something. Now here's some information that's going to really shock you. No pun intended. Joseph was the second golfer to die from lightning in 2021 and the third documented lightning fatality of the year. This is according to the National Lightning Safety Council. The death right before Joseph happened in New Jersey at the Burlington Country Club. The victim was 70-year-old Michael Ward. He was playing a game on June 9th when he was hit by lightning and died. Since 2006, there have been at least a dozen documented golfers killed by lightning strikes. Nine of them were hit as they were actively playing, while others were hit while standing under trees or cowering under something. It's been recommended that if you're golfing and a thunderstorm comes your way, put your clubs down, move away from the golf cart, take off your shoes, and stay far away from trees. If your hair stands on end, it means you're about to be hit by lightning, and there's not really much you can do about it. Number five death at the Jersey Shore. A young lifeguard was the victim of a terrifying lightning strike on the New Jersey Shore. The victim, Keith Pinto, was around 19 years old when the tragedy unfolded in August of 2021. He, three other lifeguards, and four civilians were all affected when the lightning bolt hit the beach. Keith was the only one fatally struck, though the rest did receive some serious shocks. According to Vince Ruffalo, who was visiting the beach from Wisconsin, it was like a bomb went off. Vince was 56 feet away, but could still feel the force of the lightning strike. So powerful, it knocked Vince and his friends to the ground. Why was the young lifeguard the only fatality? It was probably because he was sitting on the lifeguard chair, meaning the lightning was attracted to him. He was essentially sitting on the giant tower, and that focused the electricity straight through his body. It was a terrible loss for the Jersey Shore, and just devastating for Keith's family. Number four, tragedy in the Congo. 2022 did not start well for the people in the Democratic Republic of Congo. A lightning bolt struck a power cable on the outskirts of Kinshasa, resulting in the horrifying deaths of 26 people. The lightning bolt didn't actually kill anyone, but the chaos caused by hitting the power cable certainly did. The cable snapped, fell on some houses, and thrashed through a local market. The victims were two men and 24 women. It was like a massive snake spitting electricity from its mouth, thrashing around and zapping people as they screamed and tried to get away. Officials in the Congolese capital blamed outdated infrastructure. The city isn't exactly up to code, with power lines running haphazardly all over the place and houses and markets built over top each other. It just so happened that this time, the lightning broke the cable at peak shopping hours, right in the heart of a very busy marketplace. Number three, murder by lightning. A young man in Florida was killed on July 17th, 2021, while relaxing on the beach. His name was Walker Berthune, and he was enjoying a sunny day near Marco Island when the unimaginable happened. The sky clouded over, a lightning bolt came down, and Walker was dead before he even knew to run. He was the fourth lightning fatality of 2021, just a day after Joseph Slavinsky, the Pennsylvania golfer we just talked about. Sadly, this isn't even that rare. We already know at least a dozen golfers have died since 2006, but the National Lightning Safety Council also says there have been at least 76 lightning deaths in Florida since the same year. It's one of the most dangerous places in North America to be if you're not a fan of getting zapped by a great bolt of electricity from the sky. In September of 2020, a man named Jesus Perez was fatally electrocuted while standing in his yard. Earlier that same year, Raul Romtoba died in the town of Middleburg while working on his roof. The point is that if you live in Florida, your chances of getting hit by lightning are surprisingly high. 
Number 2. Lightning in India In March of 2021, four gardeners in the Indian city of Delhi took shelter under a tree. It was raining heavily, and the sky was roaring with thunder. Minutes later, there was an orange flash. A lightning bolt hit a tree. All four gardeners fell to the ground, and one of them had died. The others survived, but were severely burned. One of the survivors told a local newspaper that he can't remember a thing and that he blacked out the second the electricity hit him. If you thought Florida was bad with 76 deaths, wait till you hear these absurd numbers. In India, lightning strikes have killed over 100,000 people since 1967. The bad news is, well, it's getting worse. India's meteorological office has been doing lightning forecasts for years now. Through their research, they've discovered that the number of lightning strikes per year has risen sharply. Between April of 2020 and March of 2021, there was a 34% increase in lightning strikes, about 18 million of them. This is just a small piece of data, but it doesn't look good. If the storms continue to increase in severity, India could be looking at an epidemic of lightning strikes. People could be dropping like flies from random thunderstorms and intense electrical activity. Just going for a walk on a rainy day can turn into a deadly gamble. And number one, selfie interrupted. A lightning strike in India killed 16 people in 2021. Yes, a single storm killed over a dozen people. And if that seems surprising, just listen to this. According to the official data, lightning strikes kill over 2,000 people in India on average every single year. This particular incident happened on top of a watchtower in Jaipur. This is a pretty popular tourist destination in the north of India, known for its archaeological sites. Tourists had gathered at the city's famous 12th century armor fort when lightning began crashing down all around them. As they were taking selfies and snapping pictures of the raging storm, it turned its attention to them. 27 tourists were on the tower and only 11 of them walked away with their lives. They were basically under fire by bolts of electricity, with the tourists screaming and scrambling to get away. It was a total pandemonium, and the last thing the tourists had expected when they climbed the tower that morning. It's honestly hard to imagine just how terrifying this must have been for everyone present. Imagine going to visit the Statue of Liberty, only for lightning bolts to start picking people off one at a time. It would be horrifying. Sadly for the people of India, these weren't the only lightning deaths to happen that week. And after that, 41 people were killed in the state of Uttar Pradesh. Thanks for watching. Would you rather get struck by lightning or fall into a volcano? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.